and fetching some seas cruising on the ocean, a small island appears on the horizon. Hello everyone, this is Star Wars 8567, and this episode of Star Tropics, we're in Chapter 4, and this is Episode 6, so let's go into the Tunicola. I'm a fisherman, I missed a big one, as big as a whale. My daddy is a fisherman, he likes to tell fish stories. I'll become a good fisherman like my daddy. I did it to the recorder jump. I'm a fisherman, welcome to Tunicola. Hi, my name is Bay. Hey, man, a guy sailing all the way from Sea Island to find a boy like you. I bet he's still rowing his his raft on the East Ocean. I bet he is. Have you ever heard of the raw fish eaters island sushi kuna? No. There's some fish we could we can't eat, we can't do anything with, can't even interact. I'm gonna say this right now, this chapter is really easy. Or really hard. And it can be almost impossible for some people, but let's just go east for now. He wasn't kidding! And we've been swallowed officially. Great. And here is someone that we should know. Wow, well, Mike, it's me, Babu, Dr. J's assistant. Do you remember me? Unless I found you, but we have to meet inside the belly of this whale. Mike, I must tell you, I witnessed the kidnap of your uncle. A huge flying ship appeared in the sky. I'm not telling you because I was afraid it would return for me. The Southern Cross gave me courage and strength to find you. I'm sorry, I was scared, but now I must help. Let's find a way out of this fish with bad taste. But let me see. That's it, Mike. We'll make him sneeze. Let's build a fire. Dr. J gave me a lighter. It's in my pocket. Pocket? Shoot! I lost it when I was swallowed! So you also lost your pants. It must be around here. Let's find it. Now for this area, go up here to the right. And then right again. And then down. If you leave your ship, you're not gonna, until I tell you to, you're not going to find the lighter. Go up here and dive. Now we're going to head to the left here. Sorry about the itch I just had. Go down here. Don't go in the water there. That, that, the first item spot, that'll bring you back to where we surfaced. But take this one here. If you go to the land, you'll find yourself on the other end of these, and you need to go back and swim. You have to use the subsea to get through here. Or we submerge the second time. If we take this, we go right back to it, so we'll skip that for now. Go under here. We'll ignore that thing up there for now in the upper left, right hand corner, but we'll get off here. I know, it's a long walk, isn't it? It's not too bad, because here's the lighter. Yay, lighter get. We need that. The lighter is good. The lighter will help us. Let's head back. Now we're going to take this. We're going to take that dice spot, and it'll lead us right here. How close is right here? Yeah, back to the start. With the lighter in hand, we can now talk to Babu and... Mike, let's build a fire! You built the fire. It's getting smokier. It's still getting smokier. Mike, help! I got smoke in my eyes! It's getting smokier. Smokey the bear is now angry at you. Ah! 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 Choo! And we're out of that. Woo! We made it. I promise never to smoke again. 
Okay, Mike, I gotta tell you about today's last words. You know aliens from a distant planet? Tell Mike to dip my letter in water. You understand? Dr. J sent you a letter with a map of Sea Island a few weeks ago. Did he? Okay, Mike, I'll tell you Dr. J's last words. You know aliens from a distant planet? Tell Mike to dip my letter in water. Do you understand? Dr. J has been abducted by aliens in the flying ship. Mike, leave me here. I'll be okay. Please help Dr. J. The letter he talks about, I don't have because it only comes in a new game. But we do have the frequency because of the internet age. It's 747. I'll read the letter right now as I can. At least part of it. It came with the game and you dipped a part of it in water. This was important because not only was this backstory, it was a feeling that came with the game. It looked like it was part of the story, but it had more to it than you thought. I actually did something important. I just gotta get to it. My notes are a little scattered. Mike, I found some strange ciphers in my last voyage. Since then, someone has been watching me. I put a tiny transmitter in my shoe. Its frequency is 747 megahertz. Perhaps I worry too much. Better to be safe than sorry. That is what you got if you did the thing in water. That's what you wanted. That is what you need to do. I got Captain Frequency Tracking System set for Dr. J's location. I pick up a signal, I'll alert you. Subsea is ready to launch at all ahead full. And that'll end chapter 4. Captain Bell, Subsea is searching for Dr. Jones's location, but the stray is, lo is blocked. Blah. Well, the ship definitely locks the stray as well as blocks it, so let's go on. Welcome to Belcola. I want to be a hero like Captain Bell. Don't you know the story of our island father, the British Captain Bell? Not my papa, dummy. He's our island father. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome to Belcola. I'm the second oldest in all the islands, 128 years. But good for you. Don't talk to that guy yet, he won't let us through. It's impossible to cross the strait now. This guy, I believe, unlocks the thing. Hi, I'm a great songwriter. Do you like my song? Miso, my bell, miso. I get up early to fish. The early bird catches the worm, you know. That's also a hint for later. Oh, you're from Sea Island. Our chief is waiting for you. Mike, I'm Chief Balcola. I got the letter from Sea Island by Carrier Pigeon. Chief Coral Cola asked me to give you the secret of the strait. But I'm not sure. Do you promise to keep it a secret? I have no choice, I have to. Okay, I believe you. Listen carefully. In 1680, the British Captain Bell battled with pirates invading our lands. He blocked the strait by sacrificing his own ship, saving our islands. Since then, Captain Bell has been known as the Island Father. But he left a secret in his cave to open the strait. Mike, it's not easy to enter Bell's cave. You need the help of Peter. Good luck. Peter? I don't think Peter Griffin can help us. But I don't think he means that Peter either. Let's head over this way and you can see a parrot. Hello, Peter I am. Peter I am. Huh? No gift, no chat. No gift, no chat. Lulu wants cake. What? Well, either way, we can't do anything with that parrot right now, so we gotta sail all the way over to the other side. Now I've come here, now searching for Dr. J's location, we're gonna hear this every time. If I pick up a signal, I'll alert you! Yay! So 
yep, we're getting out sail. Luckily, sailing isn't that bad. We just gotta go about to where that tunnel exits, and then swim south. Well, yeah. Dive here, and go one north. Go around here, you can see a little bit of a wall we can go through, and then pop out. Walk north a little bit. And right here. Hi, my name is Hook. I'm the fishing master. You wanna know the ABCs of fishing? Sure. Okay, wake up early and find a fresh worm for bait. The island saying is the early bird catches the worm and fish too. Here's a fresh worm for you. Well, if the early bird gets the worm, we've heard that twice now, then I guess we have to go give the worm to the bird. Because the bird is the word, I guess. I'm thinking guess here. I'm thinking stabs here, people. And we're just gonna head right down, right into the hole. Dive. Oh, he's diving is easy. You just hit one button and ta-da. You don't have to it's the other thing. It's automatic steering, folks. I'm not pressing anything when it automatically moves. Go down to get yourself a drink, right? Or something. Take a sip real quick. Of course, nothing on the overall map can really hurt you. By the way, the dungeon's right up there. I'm gonna go to the left here. Back to that bird. Hello, Peter. I am Peter. I am. Arr! No gift, no chop, no gift, no chop. We stick the worm right in his beak. Yes, gift. Ah, ah. Yes, gift. Ah, ah. Good morning, Captain Bell. Good morning, Captain Bell. Hi, Peter. Hi, ah. Do me so far. Do me. Hi, Peter. Hi, ah. Do me so far. Do me. I'll do you so far, stupid bird. I'll do you so far to throw you off a ledge, but that's a good clue. Do, me, so, fa, do, me. I'll give me that if you. So we're just gonna swim. go back to where we were. We're almost done with the episode. We only got one location left to visit, so we gotta go all the way back to the other dock, and then we'll go to that other location, and we'll be at the end of the episode. I know, this part is a little slow. We'll be hopping around grids at the moment. Get off here, go down and around. We go in right here. Follow me exactly. Go up one here and then to the left, otherwise you'll go north into a dead end. You can go right, but instead we reach here. There's a giant piano there. I mean, I mean, King Captain Bell's memorial. Boy, don't touch anything. Oh wait, Pete's great grandpa was Captain Bell's pet parrot, did you know? It's telling me. Doe? Me, so, fa, do, me. Do, re, me, so, fa, ti, you know, that whole line right there. That's what you're seeing, and what you just saw was a whole puzzle. We had to do this to move on, so now you know the puzzle. Come down the staircase right here next to where we come out, and let's see. Nothing around here, but it looks like there might be a secret. Hey, another big heart! Yay! That's our ninth heart! That's awesome. we gotten three bigs, and the rest came from, well, other stuff, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. The notes on me right now, and we're gonna exit and go down. And now we're outside by that tunnel. 
come up around getting the episode here because it's the next dungeon. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly take this guy out because why is he here? When you go down around, I'm gonna show you what you can do in case you have some damage or you die. Well, he has some damage getting here. Yeah, hard, so yeah, I'm getting the episode here. I hope you have fun. I'll see you on the next one. See you then.